Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitale. On this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I'm answering your request because I know it's back to school. You know, if you're a teacher, you're back at work full time, uh, or if you're just busy in general. I know so many of you have been requesting for more crock pot recipes, and as soon as I got that tweet, which was just a couple days ago, I knew I wanted to share this recipe with you, which is fabulous. It is my crock pot teriyaki chicken. So good, so easy, perfect thing that you can just put in, you know, in the crock pot in the morning, turn it on low, and by the time you come back from work, you have got an amazing dinner. You just need a few minutes to zhuzh it up a bit, and you're good to go. Let me get over, let me go over the ingredients with you, but you're not going to need very many, and I'll tell you what you can kind of substitute. I've got some bone-in, skinless chicken thighs. You could use breast if you want to, low-sodium soy sauce, water. I've got some honey and brown sugar garlic and ginger, this is just ginger paste with grated ginger. I've got some mirin and a small little bit of toasted sesame oil and some rice wine vinegar. Now this, you can completely omit all of the ingredients for the sauce and just buy pre-made teriyaki sauce. That will make your life a lot easier. Just throw in some fresh garlic and ginger and you'll be good to go. And I would be lying if I said that I didn't do this a lot because sometimes it's easier to do that if you don't have all the individual ingredients on hand. And if you don't want to use chicken thighs, use chicken breast. I mean, use whatever you have on hand. Pork tenderloin would be fantastic here. So really use what you have, use what you, you know, use what you like and um, use whatever makes your life easier. Now I'm gonna just mix up the sauce really quickly. In a big measuring cup, I'm pretty much gonna throw everything in here. And you know the full recipe will be on LaraInTheKitchen.com waiting for you. Now this looks like it's a lot of honey and brown sugar, but it isn't. It just looks that way because it's all kind of sticky and ooey and gooey and it's going to just, with that salty soy sauce, come on, it is going to be the perfect counterpart. So then we're gonna add some water. You just need a little bit of water to kind of thin everything out. And the soy. You can also use um, drumsticks here. You could use anything you wanted. If your sugar and honey gets into a comp like that, do not panic. Because once everything gets cooking in your slow cooker, it's going to be perfect. Okay, in my little pot here, I'm going to add my thighs. You can use a lot more than this, of course. This is plenty for me because I am going to add some vegetables later, but that is also an optional thing. Sauce. And what I'm going to do is I am just going to let this cook. Now, like I said, you've got options here. You can do high on three to four hours on high or low eight to ten hours. It's up to you. I'm going to put this on high and let it cook for about four hours. I'm going to come back in three hours. I'm going to show you what I like to add at that point. Like I said, it is optional, but I do like to add a few vegetables um, when it's got about an hour left of cooking. So I'm going to put this back there, let it cook, and then we'll proceed. My chicken has been cooking for three hours. Now, like I said, you don't have to add any additional vegetables to it at all, but about one hour before it's done, I like to add some broccoli florets, sliced onions, and some diced bell peppers. You don't have to. Or if you want to add anything else, please do. Or if you want to make things even easier on yourself, by the time you are ready to plate your dinner and you are so, sort of uh, thickening your sauce, which we'll do in a little bit, you can just add a bag of frozen defrosted um, vegetables to this and it'll be perfect and good to go. I'm going to add these to the crock pot with the chicken, let it cook all together for one less uh, one additional hour. And the reason why I don't add my vegetables in the very beginning is because they'll get really mushy and I don't want them to be mushy. I want them to actually just retain a little bit of their crunch as well. So I'm going to put those in, let it cook for a little bit longer and then we'll plate up. After the final hour, what I've done is I've taken the chicken out and I've shredded it. I've taken the vegetables out, set them aside, and then I took the sauce because I want to get I want to thicken this up a little bit. If you feel like by the end of a long day, these are too many steps for you, you don't even have to thicken the sauce. It's going to be a lot thinner. You know, it's not going to be a really thick, glossy sauce. But you know what? I get it. You're exhausted. You're tired. You want to put food on the table. Go make some quick rice, quinoa, couscous, whatever you have, and you'll be good to go. But I've got a saucepan with high sides because I want to be able to toss everything together, a skillet, but you can use a saucepan. I'm going to add my sauce. This was the sauce that was left over in my crock pot. What I have here, I'm going to 
use to thicken is some cornstarch and some water. Now, one of the reasons why I love making my own sauces like a teriyaki sauce is because I can sort of adjust and um, really keep an eye on how much sugar and stuff is in it because a lot of the sauces are as thick as they are and it's good um, because they've got a lot of sugar in them. I like to thicken mine with some cornstarch so that I, I don't use a lot of sugar, if that makes any sense. I'm gonna mix that with some water. I'm probably not gonna need all of this. I definitely added more water than I should have, but that's fine. I wanna just give this a good stir. I don't want any lumps. Cold water, by the way. You don't wanna add your cornstarch straight to the hot um, sauce because it can lump up and just be crazy messy. Now that that's coming to a boil, I am gonna just bring my, so my uh, one spoon close to me. I'm gonna add a little bit of my cornstarch mixture and you're gonna just cook this for a couple of minutes. What happens is, and this is how you know that your cornstarch is cooked through. First of all, it'll be thick. And second of all, you see how it's kind of cloudy right now? When your cornstarch you know, slurry is fully cooked, it's going to sort of that cloudiness will disappear. And that's how you know it's fully cooked. And it's going to happen sort of, it's gonna start thickening up kind of right away, but you want it cooked, you want it that to cook for a couple of minutes to make sure it's completely gone. So I'm just gonna keep an eye on this and then we'll mix everything together and dinner is served. That looks perfect. I'm gonna just turn this off. Now I'm just gonna add my chicken back in, my veggies back in, and I'm gonna just give everything a really good stir, and then I'm gonna bring my rice close to me, and we are ready to serve. And that is it. It's really simple and easy, and like I said, if you don't wanna even bother with having to add your vegetables, you can always just use a bag of frozen vegetables, thaw them out, serve them alongside, and you, my friend, are good to go. Look at that glossy sauce. And the peppers are still crunchy. The onions still kept their shape. That's what I like about home cooking. You see, you can tailor anything to your liking. I love when my vegetables have a little bit of crunch left to them. And I love when my chicken, when, I, you know, when it's in the slow cooker, it is just like melting in your mouth. So tender. Mm. And that is what this is. Mm mm mm. So good. Perfect blend of sweetness. Mm mm. This should be on your dinner table tonight or tomorrow night. Go to LaraInTheKitchen.com, gather all the ingredients, put everything in the slow cooker the night before. That way, all you have to do the next morning, take it out of the fridge, put it in, put it in your pot, and then put it in the slow cooker, and let it cook all day while you're gone. Doesn't get easier than that. Hope you enjoyed spending time with me. Let me know down below some of your favorite crock pot recipes you want to see made here. I hope you enjoyed spending time with me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.